Hello everyone, in this video we're going to make a patterned overlay for your video backgrounds in Squarespace. So starting off in Squarespace and a couple of things before we start, this is a Brian family template and it's also an index page that I've got set up here. So if you stick around till a bit later in the video, I'll go over how to do this in a normal page too. So the first thing we need to do is generate the pattern that's going to go over this video. So I'm going to use a website called patternify.com. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So this is exactly what it says. It's a CSS pattern generator and we've got a few options in here to make our overlay pattern. We can make our own by dropping pixels into this box, which we can also resize to make bigger and smaller depending on the size you want it to be and then there's also some pre-made ones too at the bottom so if we flick through these tabs we've got all different kinds of pre-made overlays including the nasty little aliens from space invaders so once you've decided on your pan i'm just going to use this one as an example we're going to come across to this base 64 code i'm going to click in the box to highlight the code and then i'm going to copy this with command and c and then head back over to squarespace and then i'm going to go to design custom CSS, and then I'm going to go dot index, making sure there's a capital I at the beginning of index, hyphen page, hyphen image, colon, before, space, couple of squiggly brackets down the line, then I'm going to go background, colon, URL, normal brackets, making sure as well that there's no space between URL and these brackets. And then in between these brackets, we're just going to paste the code that we copied from Patnify. And boom, there we go. We've got our image overlay. So as I mentioned earlier on, this is an index page. So to do it in a normal page, we'll go to another page, which is appropriately named another page. And then I'm going to come back over to CSS. We're going to come down a couple of lines. I'm going to go dot intro. Again, making sure that there's a capital I at the beginning of intro. Hyphen, hyphen, has, hyphen, image colon before squiggly brackets and then we're just going to grab from background down to this last normal bracket you can make a copy of that paste that in between these squiggly brackets and there we go we've got our overlay on normal page as well so as always i hope you found this video useful if you did leave us a thumbs up below if you're not already please do subscribe for more stuff like this and hopefully i will see you in the next video see ya